now let us look at the typical format and basic pms information which will be available in most of the pms which will be there uh, for all uh, process industry whether it is a refinery petrochemical fertilizer or gas projects the typical format or information will be nearly same maybe there is some additional information based on some specific client but most of the time the basic information which is there in pms it remains uh, the format at least remains the same so let us look at to uh, what kind of typical information is there in any pipe class okay. first of all there will be a project detail client pms uh, pmc or any engineering contractor name or its logo that will be at top or in some cases it is at bottom but this information will always be there right so client name pm pmc name con engineering contractor name so those kind of information along with the few logos it will be there then document number and revision this is very important these kind of documents uh, may get change during the course of uh, project life cycle so that time the revision will change and maybe the date uh, will be changed so this is uh, document number which will be typical for a project uh, specific specific project so this information will be captured here so the the top information along with client pmc and revision or date information may be at top or sometime it is mentioned at bottom also so this kind of format will remain same but point is this information will always be there in any pipe class maybe at particular uh, time we don't revise the whole pms but a particular pipe class is revised then only for that particular pipe class this information will be changed then basic information related to services okay that particular pipe class is related to some fluids which will be there for a particular project so number of fluids for which the pipe class is prepared so this is one thing which will be there in any of the pipe class so we will find the fluids for which the pipe class is used okay so this information will be here at this corner for example for this particular uh, pipe class this is for steam service so this kind of fluid service if it is for hydrogen nitrogen or any other fluid service this will be mentioned here so this pipe class any pipe class will tell us for what kind of services for what kind of fluid we have to use that particular uh, pipe class so that will be available in this portion then design code this is again really important the code which is applicable that has to be mentioned in pms for example for piping uh, for process plant this will be 31.3 for power plant this may be 31.1 so that code has to be mentioned here because why we are using this because a lot of information related to testing allowables that has to come from this code so once we write 31.3 is applicable for a particular pipe class that means we have to pick all these required information from that particular code design temperature and pressure this is the basis of uh, material selection so that has to be there in any of the pms so dt rating we call it uh, temperature sorry design temperature and pressure so this has to be there so that we can conclude our pt rating based on these uh, temperatures and pressures so temperature limits and pressure limits will always be there so that we can decide the rating base material this has to come from metallurgy but it will be mentioned in piping class for example for this it is for carbon steels so maybe it is for stainless steel ltcs alloy steel or maybe plastic uh, non metallic uh, uh, pipes so that material has to be mentioned here so we will come to know ki okay this for this particular service we are using this kind of base material then rating again this is very important whether it is 300 pound 600 pound this has to be calculated and it has to be mentioned in pipe class facing describes flange facing with respect to raised face or flat faced okay so this kind of information is also clearly mentioned in pipe class corrosion allowances okay 
how much corrosion allowance we have to consider for this uh, pipe class. For example, if we are talking about pipes, we have to calculate the thickness. While calculating the thickness, we need to refer uh, some project specific information where it is mentioned. So corrosion allowance will be part of uh, pipe class. Also, you'll get this information in uh, fluid list also, but for piping material, when we are issuing a document, we have to mention this corrosion allowance in that particular pipe class. PT rating based on line list received from process, we will be uh, preparing this PT rating. So this is really very important information. With respect to this, we will come to know how much uh, uh, pressure or temperature the pipes can bear. The range also we can see and that particular uh, pressure at particular temperature also. This has to be clearly mentioned in PMS. So this is PT rating which is the basis of any pipe class. All the items, all the pipes and pipe components are listed underneath this. This is the base information. This is the foundation of this uh, pipe class. But for what this information is available, these are the items. All these items uh, will be listed along with other information. Then size range. Line list will be helping us to give us uh, the size range for particular uh, uh, item whether it is a pipe or uh, other items flange valves or etc that that will that range will also be covered in pipe class then description this is really important this description covers a lot of things okay for example for pipe whether it is a seamless or welded what kind of dimensional standards are there what kind of material standards are there what kind of ends will be there all those information will be captured in description along with the material grades so this description is really very important with respect to uh, material. Then commodity code. This is a code uh, which may vary from project to project, to company to company, client to client. But this is really important to track each and every item. So this is the basic information which will always be there in any of the PMS, in any of the pipe class. So we need to understand various components which are there item wise in this sheet. Now let us see what are the various components. Here we talked about various items which will be there in any of the PMS. Let us see what kind of uh, components will be there in any pipe class. For example, the pipe and nipple. As we have seen here, pipe and nipples are shown along with size range, few notes, description and its code. Then reinforcement fitting, what kind of tappings uh, we are taking, OLEDs, flanges, flange and spacers are listed there, valves, all type of valves, whether it is cast or posed valves, those will be listed here along with all these kind of uh, details, gaskets, fasteners or any specialty items, all these matching uh, gaskets, boards uh, for all these flange connection valves, everything that has to be listed here itself. These are various components which are there in any pipe class. So once we can we understand these uh, components, we will uh, we can understand PMS of any project. Even we can uh, look into various things. Uh, for example, the dimensional standard, the material standard. Once we understand these factors, which are always there in description, right? Once we know the details, then we can understand why these are chosen for that particular material for that particular service for that particular PT rating once we understand these we can implement this uh, very smoothly or even we can start preparing this kind of document in future so you can once you understand you can implement this information in your current projects not only in current projects you can start developing uh, uh, these PMS this is basic information which we need to understand what what are the various elements and what are the various components in particular pipe class. Piping material specification. This is one of the most important deliverable from piping discipline. This is the second part of this course. In first part, we discussed about what is PMS, what are the various items in PMS in detail. We looked into various elements which are covered in any of the pipe class. 
Then we looked into various inputs required to start working on this fluid report, especially the fluid list. We looked into each and every aspect in detail so that we can set the foundation for this particular deliverable. So let us see what we are going to cover in this part. The main agenda here is item group 5. Let us see what we are going to cover in this section with respect to this item group. So what we are doing here, we are going to divide this section into five parts. First one is pipe, second is dimensional standard, then end connection, then thickness, and then the major, the design and material standards. So first we look into how the PMS is represented, various seg segments of pipe. Okay, so this is the basic uh, thing where we look into the basic things. Then we'll start with pipe. What is pipe? How the pipe schedule is defined? plastic pipes, jacketed pipe, and a lot of interesting facts here, which we have captured with respect to pipe, especially with respect to the piping material specification. Second part is dimensional standard. Now, what is, what is dimensional standard? Why it is required? What are various dimensional standards for metallic pipes, non-metallic pipes? Then we'll look into one of the dimensional standard in detail so that we can understand the whole concept with respect to dimensional standards. Third section is end connections. So there will be a lot of end connections with respect to pipe. So we'll look into each and every aspect, its application, how these are defined, how these are represented. So all those aspects shall be covered in this section. Then the third part is schedule or thickness. So with respect to this, we'll look into various things in detail. For example, we we'll look into what are the various inputs to decide the pipe thickness, how those inputs are received from where we get this information, how we use this information, what is, uh, what are the various parameters which are required for this, uh, for capturing this kind of information. Then we look into various ASTM standards which are used to calculate these things. PT rating, will the basics we have to know how this PT rating is associated with thickness. What are the allowable stresses? We look into each and every aspect with respect to allowable. We look into various clauses which are there in 31.3, how those are, uh, uh, referred how we can use those parameters to calculate the pipe thickness then we'll look into actual pipe thickness calculation we'll take an example and we will uh, use all these parameters to calculate the actual thickness for a particular line size then we'll look into various line conditions how we can optimize the pipe thickness with respect to line conditions so all those things we'll calculate so that we can understand how we calculate the pipe thickness then this is again a very major uh, part which we really need to understand so that we can define the pipe group in PMS. What we are going to do here, we will classify, we will divide this section into four parts that is carbon steel, low temperature carbon steel, stainless steel, alloy steels. Then we will look into each and every section with respect to ASTM standards. We will look into all the ASTM standard which are associated with AS carbon steel, low temperature, stainless steel, alloy steel, so that we can understand what are various parameters, how chemical mechanical properties are defined in these ASTM, so that we can refer those, how we can implement these into our uh, live projects, so that we'll try to understand the basics for each and every material. Okay, so once we go through these total five sections, we will be aware of each and every part which is associated with this item group. So this is going to be a very informative session. So I, I'm sure you'll get uh, additional knowledge and you can implement that, that knowledge into your projects, into your live projects or in future uh, you can use this information.